Colorado Congresswoman Lauren Boebert is part of a small group of far-right Republicans in the House that are pushing the country toward a government shutdown. Without a deal in a couple of days, federal employees and military service members in Colorado could be furloughed. There could be a pause in benefits like WIC, which helps more than 90,000 families in Colorado buy food. The deal is that GOP House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has to appease this small group, including Representative Matt Gates, who you saw there, and Boebert, to keep his job. They're demanding significant spending cuts and increased border security, or they won't fund the rest of government. A shutdown could come this weekend. House Republicans could vote to fund individual agencies, like the Department of Defense and Homeland Security, as early as tonight. But a handful of holdouts are threatening to block a final vote. Former President Donald Trump has been encouraging those House conservatives to, quote, unquote, shut it down unless they get everything they want. Colorado Republican Congressman Ken Buck was asked about that. How much sway does the former president hold over your colleagues at this moment? Oh, I don't think he holds any sway. I think that uh, Kevin McCarthy has a problem because he made uh, one promise when he was getting elected speaker that he would uh, hold spending to a $1.47 trillion number. And now he is talking to Republicans about a $1.52 trillion number, which Democrats have uh, said they won't accept because it's less than the debt ceiling deal. There is a bipartisan deal, a short-term deal, being rushed over from the Senate tonight that would keep the government operating through mid-November. It's not clear if Speaker McCarthy can convince his members to vote for it.